So ForgeRock is a digital identity company, and what we really do is we create a digital representation of a physical thing, whether that be a device, um, a person, or a service. And so if you think about a, a person, a person has a whole bunch of attributes about them, their height, their um, hair color, their eye color. Well, in the digital world, you have a bunch of attributes about you as well. And so it's super important to represent that in a way that I can then use to um, personalize your experience, to secure your experience. It's exactly what ForgeRock does. So ForgeRock allows us to create a digital representation of you and then utilize that to provide access to applications and services and also give end users a really delightful experience. So we, we give a, the end users or, or our customers of our customers a great experience um, through this digital identity concept. And so the first thing we do is um, create a singular identity for a user and, or for a customer. And that singular identity allows you then to um, authenticate the user to make sure that they are who they say they are. And when you can authenticate a user, you can establish trust. And once you have trust, then you can do all types of interesting things, whether it be provide trusted content, whether it be um, sell and, and transact services. Trust is really the root of everything that you want to do in the digital economy. And so identity, by being able to identify something, that allows you to, to create trust, which allows you to provide all these digital services. In addition to that, once you have a, a singular identity for a user, you can utilize that to personalize their experience to give them a great experience, and also, once again, to secure it, which is important as well. A couple of different things. First of all, um, people have to recognize that identity extends beyond carbon-based life forms, right? So it's not just people that have identities, it's the things that we interact with, it's the services we interact with. And it's also important to understand the relationship between them. So the relationship between a person and a thing, and the person and a service, and a thing and a service and a person. And so these number of relationships become greater and greater over time as we have more things and more services that we interact with. So we need services that are able to understand them all. Uh, we also uh, need to be able to, you know, things aren't like people. They can't necessarily fill out a registration form or enter in a username and password. So we need to have services that allow us to securely authenticate a thing and bring it online in a secure way. And so leveraging um, the capabilities that are inside chips and inside devices to securely onboard them, um, leveraging that information that we get about that thing in order to manage the relationship between people and things and services. Uh, that's how we'll get to this next level of trust and personalization and really allow things like the Internet of Things and smart cities and all these kind of futuristic concepts that we talk about to become reality. When you talk about these great technologies, IoT, cloud, uh, one of the things that, that we think is really important and where we believe ForgeRock can bring a tremendous amount of value is in being the connective tissue that brings it all together. Mm -hmm. We believe that identity and creating a, a trust layer, if you will, between the cloud and, and, and people and, and things is, is really what's going to allow those technologies to get widespread adoption. So by leveraging our technology, by understanding the identities of things and people and services, we have the capability of creating this trust layer and that will um, make these services become reality. I think we're at an interesting inflection point, right? We see a lot of traditional IT systems moving to the cloud. We see pervasiveness of smart devices, whether it be smartphones, tablets, that have this tremendous amount of sensors in them. We see um, smart cities and sensors and street lights. And, and so there's this pervasiveness of being able to collect large quantities of data. Um, and then you have this pervasiveness of things like cloud, which allow us to process tremendous amounts of data. 
And so what Forgedrock is really excited about is what can we do with that? Um, how can we utilize that to personalize people's experience? How can we utilize the information we get from sensors to more securely authenticate users? Um, and then based on that secure authentication, personalize their experience, give them better access to services, um, utilize the power of cloud computing to, um, to take all that data and, and utilize it to personalize people's experience. Um, utilize that then to make our cities more efficient, to make our applications more efficient. Now, these are kind of some of the exciting macro trends that are occurring right now, which Fordrock is trying to be at the cutting edge of, because as I keep saying, this, this identity and trust layer is really what we believe makes it all possible. So, you know, it, all these macro trends are super interesting, but if you don't have security, if you can't identify who's at the other end of, of a device or at the other end of a website, uh, then you can't give them the appropriate experience. You can't secure that experience. And so Fordrop, we believe, is integral and part of all of these big macro trends in order that, to get them to be adopted and utilized. Uh, well, I think the opportunity to get uh, one-on-ones with a variety of different vendors is really powerful. You know, so many times, especially at industry conferences, it's it, large groups, it's it's not necessarily very intimate. It's it's um, you know everyone's pressured for time and and you're trying to meet as many people as possible. I think the opportunity to have a, a time bound meeting with a with a vendor that you may not have uh, considered meeting with under under normal circumstances allows uh, the vendors opportunities to meet um, the, the these these customers and learn from them. And I think it gives these uh, in a very low pressure situation gives these uh, these customers and end users the capability to hear what's going on in the industry. And so I think. You know the free exchange of ideas and, and, and concepts and and uh, and thought leadership. I think is really powerful, and so I think uh, an event like this is is really special in that in that respect. So I touched on it already. It's really mm -hmm. the one on ones, and so um, you don't get that many opportunities to meet. Uh, such a variety of customers from a variety of industries with really great uh, life experience and work experience and technical knowledge uh, and, and to be able to just sit and talk to them for a half an hour. I think that's a, a really special experience. Mm -hmm.